Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm out here with the game changer, aka the game player, <laughs> Mike. He's been working uh, just half days because it's so hot out, and uh, we've been cutting at uh, the neighbor's property, but this is a new property that I checked out last night, and I thought I'd bring Mike out here and just see if uh, how he likes it and if he'd have a field day with it. Um, there's a ton of ash in here. And I was just going to give him a walkthrough. Mike, why don't you go go ahead and lead it, lead us through the trail, and we'll just show these folks how much wood is out here. We didn't put in on any bug spray, so we got to keep moving, or the mosquito the skeeters are going to get us. But we just looked at a bunch of trees. Right yeah, there. yeah, got to watch. Look, there's a log right here. You know, and Mike comes flying through here in the quad. It's not going to be pretty. So he's going to have to find all these logs. But I want to show you all these ash trees back here as I just about fall over, roll my ankle. But me and the uh, property owner came through here. He's a real cool guy. We're going to cut on shares. There's a log laying right there. I would say most of this stuff actually is uh, pretty solid, pretty big and solid. There's a lot of walnut back here too, which of course we're not going to touch those. There's, there's a hung up tree right there. And there, there's an ash tree. You see that one right there? A nice dead one. Mm -hmm. Gravy train. That's that's what I call bundle grade. And, you know, Mike's running out of dry wood for bundles. I'm almost. I got about two truckloads left. Here's an ash tree right here. Or just it's missing the top. And then over there, you can see one hung up. And I guess there's a bunch of oak tops back in there. But yeah, as we come through here, I'm watching my step, following Mike. Getting her done. What'd you think of this score, Mountain Man? Ooh, anybody want some wild berries? They're ripe, I think I'm gonna have my dessert. Mmm, good. But look at this one. Mike, do you need uh, Pam to come out here and show you how to drop this one? You think you can handle it? Look at that, I mean, it's a good 70 feet tall, probably about 18 inches in diameter. It's starting to, starting to rot here at the base though, so you're gonna have to be careful with it barber chairing. You know, but the rest of it's pretty solid. And then look at that one right there, Mike. We see right there, ash tree. I gotta watch where I step, I'm gonna trip and fall. But there's one right there, and then there's a dead elm next to it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think, no, that's, uh, that's more walnut over there, Mike. Let's go, I'm gonna go this way with you, and then I'll take you out and we'll go look for them oak tops. But like I say, this guy wants us to cut some wood for him. You know, it's just a price to pay because he's got the right type, uh, type of wood that we want. This one would be easy to get, you know, and then that elm right behind it. And I think there's a big ash over here. But Mike's just, you know, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it without the quad, quad trailer. It's not, I don't think he can get his truck back in here. Look at this. Right, right here. That one's laying on the ground. Look at that, nice, nice and solid, perfect size, bundle grade. There's one right, that's one. Look at this big one right there. Pam would have to come drop that one for you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so you look at that yeah you can't you gotta keep moving Mike or the the bugs are gonna get you so let's come through here let's see what we got over here oh there's another one on the ground right there and it's still solid you can I can tell just by looking at it look at that big fucker. straight ahead oh look at and then there's that hung up one right there look at that but this one this one I think this one's elm. It's got one big dead branch on it. See that right there? Two dead branches on it. Because the rest of the tree, I think, is still alive or half dead or whatever you want to call it. There's more on the ground here. I don't know if Mike could reach that branch and cut it. That'd be kind of dangerous. It's about seven feet up, you know, and reaching up and cutting like that. <clears throat> That's kind of sketchy. There's a couple couple dead ones right there, and then right there. 
I know there's more on the ground, but with all this underbrush, you can't see it. I think these might be a little bit too roached. You see that, they got little holes in it, especially if they sit on the ground for a while. But over by the road, I know there's a bunch over there. I see one there and you know, the ones that are like hung up, but Mike's gonna have to bring plenty, plenty of bug spray. There's some by the trail that he can get with his truck and pull or drag out with his truck into the opening into the, this is where the property owner's house is. But like that one right there, I mean, that's like 50 feet long, just probably close enough to fill the Dakota. Here's one right here. I don't know how solid that is. Oh, yep, the little one right here, you know. As long as he doesn't drive over the guy's septic. Yep, there's one right there. You see any more? Mike, they're right on the outside here. But like I said, we're just looking for, for ash, because ash is cash. More elm in there, and they, they look like they're alive, and there's a lot of walnut out here. He's sitting on a gold mine, a, a walnut. And then we just got to uh, cut them. So, uh, like I told him, we do it on like a five to one share ratio. And my neighbor, that's who hooked me up with this guy. We got to give him some wood. Not the not the neighbor that uh, put the gun in Mike's face, but the uh, uh, his next door neighbor. So, what do you think, Mike? <laughs> Can you get stuff done out here? Oh yeah. You gonna play games? Nope. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll get some videos of Mike dropping some of these trees out here. We'll ha if Pam wants to come show him how to do it, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, right. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, Mike. Bye.